Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins, and welcome to another episode of Spin Weekly. Today, the whole family is here. These are the surprise videos at the last two days of the week. They are the Hanukkah weaving videos, and I am... Are you okay, Beanie? Beyond chuffed to share them with you. So... Uh, my mother has a loom, as you know, and we haven't actually gotten a chance to film it uh, being used because she was moving out of the country and then my father had to have this knee surgery and then he kind of maybe needs another knee surgery and my husband was deploying and now the plans have kind of changed and <laughs> things are crazy. I'm sure you, if you were on my Instagram, you know things be crazy. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm looking forward to maybe putting some more weaving content up, but for now, this is the long-awaited Hanukkah weave, and what I did was I repurposed the yarn from, I think, two Hanukkahs ago. I made a hand-spun art yarn Hanukkah wreath, and it got crushed in our move from Hawaii, so I took all the yarn off this season, and repurposed it so i'll leave links to that down below and also the link to the video that i spun the warp yarn in i don't remember off the top of my head which one it was but i will find it and link it for you <laughs> so without further ado let's jump into the video there's some <laughs> So my mother is doing the warping process here and as you can see I got a little creative with some of the camera work because I was actually behind the camera for the first time <laughs> rather than in front of the camera. Um, usually I'm behind. So mostly through this warping process I'm going to let you enjoy the music because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, Ashford, which is, this is an Ashford samplet loom in 10 inches with the standard pedal that we're using. Um, they have a really good set of tutorials on their YouTube channel, and I will link those down below so you can see um, an actual tutorial on how to do this if you're interested. Um, they also have a really helpful full color brochure and instruction manual that comes with the samplet. So that's I recommend these guys. Um, we're really enjoying it. Um, it fits perfectly in a suitcase as well. We thought about doing the Knitter's Loom, which folds, but this one is perfectly fine. It's lightweight and it seems quite high quality. So actually, I'm going to get my mother for Christmas a larger uh, hold pedal, less dense. I think I'll do the five dense. Um, instead of the 2.5, which is the largest. So <laughs> that's that's my plan. So you can see it takes a while. I wanted to really give you a feel of how long the setting up process is and just let you admire how meditative it is because I've never done a weaving video on this channel in this much depth. I thought I would give you the full experience. So I'm gonna step back and let you do it.
Okay, so you can see that I put the waste yarn at the top there, um, and then the two cardboard spacers that come with the loom itself. And now I'm just going back and forth with the same thread that I warped it with as a weft and the Hanukkah yarn in between. And I've taken the puffier parts of the art yarn and pulled them up into loops. So that's kind of where I'm at with the whole pattern. I alternate between the warp and weft being the same uh, hand spun fiber and then the you can see how I'm pulling them through the threads there and some of them I kind of have to finagle because I want them to be you know dispersed through <laughs> the weaving and not pulled up in one particular spot I also found that the blue yarn was a lot more puffy so I kind of had to I guess fudge what I considered puffy in the white and the pattern that I was going for as I was trying to kind of intermingle them in the middle. And there's a smooth spot in the center stripe where the white and the blue match together, they meet. And it's just large enough for my menorah to sit on. And you'll see that at the end when you see the whole thing. So once again, I'm gonna turn off the music and let you enjoy. And as you can tell, the whole family collaborated on this process. Um, I did the weaving here, but my mother really <laughs> advised me on how to do it and what I was doing with my life. So major shout out to mommy for teaching me how to do this. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that spin, spin weave. Um, tomorrow we are gonna come back for my thoughts on hem stitching and the final sort of decor reveal. And that will be the last day of Hanukkah. It'll be the wrap up. So uh, because of like weird miss timelining, I think I filmed a wrap up video like three times now. So 
By the time you get to tomorrow, you might have heard a wrap up like three times. <laughs> I think I say the same thing each time, but at this point, Hanukkah is in two days, and I think I have everything sorted. But if you hear me say this is the last day of Hanukkah, like more than once, just know that current me was real confused about the order initially. I thought I'd put these in the middle to break it up, or maybe I'll put them at the end. I don't know. I think I put it at the end. <laughs> but I didn't remember that initially I was putting them in the middle until after, and then I was like, oh, these should go at the end as a surprise. This is why dyslexic people need a, like, social media managers outside of themselves. I even manage somebody else's social media and am that person for them. How, how is it that I'm not that person for myself? I don't understand. However, <laughs> I, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't want to miss out on any more of the shenanigans, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you tomorrow, whatever day of Hanukkah it may be. It will be tomorrow. And I will see you.